And we will reach into the deep, afraid you'll flee. A price I have to pay, and I'll love you still. I have already touched on the subject of relationships between humans and nature beings in Melusine, which was one of the first songs I have written in 2013. When for the first time in a long while I was without a band and decided that therefore it was the perfect time to do my own stuff. And the same theme, the dynamics, the conflicts that arise from such a love between two worlds are explored on Unseen Bridges too. And as I have hopefully grown up a bit since the time I wrote Melusine, I like to think that Unseen Bridges gives a wider and deeper view on this problematic. I wrote Melusine mainly to claim this Melusine-like side of my own personality and to say, no, she's not a man-eating femme fatale. There's no need to be afraid of her. That's just not what she is, not at the core. So self-explainingly the song is written as a proclamation from her perspective. At the time I wrote Unseen Bridges, I was able to understand the other side of it better the perspective of the human lover confronted with this nature woman, be it a fairy or mermaid or whatever. Especially the song Boundless Gentleness talks about his perspective and his feelings about her and their relationship. Also, Melusine as a song demands something, so to speak. She wants to be seen and respected, has had enough of being misread and misunderstood. She speaks up. That's why I wrote Melusine. At this time in my life, speaking up was the big number one quest for me. For the fairy protagonist on Unseen Bridges, it's something different. Her journey is more about understanding. It's not about her human lover being right or wrong in leaving her. It's not about that he mistreated her or something like that, he didn't. It's a journey towards non-judgmental understanding why their love couldn't last. It's about accepting that if he'd stayed with her, which first she wants of course, he would have lost himself, he would have had to give away too much of his identity as a human. And it's also a story about grieving and letting go. And through understanding and accepting that perhaps, despite their love for each other, they were somehow still incompatible, she learns to let go. Her love for him evolves from slightly ego-driven wishing that he would just stay with her forever, to higher levels of selflessness when, after he decided to go, she is willing to take his memories, the gift and curse of memory, as she says, from him so he can be free of her and live his life in the human world without regrets about the past.
Amen. Amen.